you just have to kind of trust that the cars in front of you aren't crashing because you're not going to be able to see it if it happens. Kind of staying out. When I know I have an opportunity, I'm staying out of the wash just to try and kind of see where they are. And then I can kind of guess where they're going to be in a second. <laughs> it's like extrapolation. <laughs> oh, God. Anybody get dizzy yet? Pass. Oh, oh. Uh, figure out if I was the idiot or that's it. <laughs> we win. That was a lot of fun. That one. So, once again, YouTube, welcome to Sepang, Malaysia. Nothing has happened before this. And round 1-1 one one of Vintage 2023 season is green. We're going to try not to get dumped by Ocon. Let's just say I have a hunch about that, but I can't see anything. It's just, it's just easy does it, everybody. Riding the, riding the curb like an idiot. Okay, much better start. We've got one car that is stuck. I cannot see my brake markers over there at all. Oh, he got going again. Everybody's going. Yeah, that's the other thing. I guess we need to be on the lookout to make sure everybody completes the first lap that set us back this morning. Well, it wasn't morning, this afternoon. Wow. I... God, trying to make a pass right now is really terrifying. It's like, I, I, I don't know. How many cars? Where are they? Right side. Clear. Clear to the right. Well, we're holding P8, which is, I guess, minus one, so... Maybe I shouldn't be ecstatic about that, but better than getting dumped. It's, what kind of idiot would get dumped on lap one? <laughs> Not me. All right, that's one lap complete. Man, the braking zones are just, just guess. Just guess where a car is. It might be there. Let's try to get offline. That helps, but then if I'm offline, I can't see the brake markers because those are through the, through the... Yeah, I'll laugh without a crash, yay! We get a good run coming through this section, but it's hard to do anything with it. Right side. Oh, oh, we're banging wheels. How's the uh, how's the visibility on the stream? Does it? <laughs> Can you see what's going on? I can't see what's going on. Fine. Clear day. Clear day over the stream. Oh yeah, agreed. It's very cool. Hey, we 
I made a pass. Isn't it rotating on the bottom? I spent all day making a making a graphic that shows my schedule. All morning, anyway. Did I forget to turn on the Formula One one? Well, yeah, it is quite extensive, but to be fair, I don't have it memorized. Aha! If I'm close enough, I can see him. Onto the line there. Left side. Clear left. On your left. Clear on the left. I know I'm looking forward to uh, Kuwait Motor Town. That's the third race of the year. Just because that's a real life track that I had never heard of. I'm excited for that one. That mod just got released recently. I don't remember what comes after this, though. Probably something in Asia. Indonesia, maybe, at Mandalika? That's my guess. Which I guess that's Oceania. Oceania, not Asia, but. I got pretty lucky, I guess. But thank you. I just, I guessed a word that only had one letter wrong, so that, I mean, I'll guess three. So that was helpful. Oof. Probably. Wow, somebody's inside. Well, there goes Leclerc. Remember how I said it was good that he started so far back? Well, he's making his way to the front. It's just me or is the... Whoa. It's just me the sun coming out a little bit. Ooh, he hit the curb.
He's got legs. You just have to kind of trust that the cars in front of you aren't crashing because you're not going to be able to see it if it happens. Kind of staying out. When I know I have an opportunity, I'm staying out of the wash just to try and kind of see where they are. And then I can kind of guess where they're going to be in a second. <laughs> it's like extrapolation. Wow. Would you say the graphics here as presented are better than the graphics in F122? No, you think F122 is a better better graphics product? Fair enough. I find F-122's graphics at Sepang lacking. Get it? Because Sepang's not in F-122, so we don't have any graphics. That's a joke. Uh -huh. I think that's an Alfa Romeo holding us up. Ciao. I mean, I'm having fun with it. I'm ready to return to our uh, career or whatever. Just as soon as we both have time. Sideways. Oh, they're banging wheels. No, I definitely do not need another race stream. <laughs> tonight anyway, just because uh, I've got to turn around and put what I've done today up on the YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Alright, we got Chow. Just stream to YouTube, bam. I have considered it, but I think Twitch is better for getting discovered. That's kind of my hypothesis. Like, how often do you go look for streamers on YouTube? I don't. If I know somebody is streaming that I follow, I will. But I don't look up like a set of horses streamer. Yeah. 
I wouldn't even know how to, honestly. There's the pole sitter Russell just having a bad time right here. It's falling back to P6. We'll... Still there. Oh, no, well, we're hanging in there. We're hanging tough. All right. All right. Clear right. You can't get any traction if you take the inside line through that hairpin. There's like a dip in the road, and it just wants to spin you if you go down there. This should do it. We've got the DRS. All right, P6 for Nifty. I just said that, Jim. I'm trying to think who we haven't seen yet. We haven't seen Verstappen. We haven't seen Hamilton. No, we have seen Hamilton. He's behind us. I'm trying to think. So I'm assuming Verstappen's ahead. And then who's the other one? Sainz? What you eating? You talk about the food. You got to tell me what it is. That sounds, sounds pretty good, actually. Pretty light, or lean, I guess. Healthy and all that jazz. We went out to a diner for dinner, the boyfriend and I, and we got, uh, I got chicken Marco Polo. Which was just like a grilled chicken breast with uh, cheese and onion. There was, I think there was a little bit of bacon. You try sometimes? I need to try more often. My metabolism is shutting down. Well, Leclerc has gotten around this pack. Picked up a lot of water at us there. Would you say Perez or Perez? Sergio Perez? That's how I want to say it. I want to put like the R in the first syllable. Perez, not Perez. I feel like whenever I listen to a Formula One podcast, they say it differently right. than I do. Clear right. Didn't know where he went. Perez, Perez. Adam, I'm just saying sounds at this point. Now, I know I said it to be fluctuating rain, but right now it's getting pretty clear out, actually.
Per res? Per res? Heck, I can see where I'm going right now. That's crazy. See you later, Sergio. Come on, bud. Nicely done. We're up to P5. Although now I've got to assume Perez has the DRS on us. Maybe not. Yeah, kind of feels like it, doesn't it? Far right. Clear to the right. Hey, Prophets, how you doing? This do be F1. We're in Sepang. How you doing, Prophets? Haven't seen you around in a while. I did download a, an engine mod. I would have forgotten to add that to my YouTube list. Hopefully I don't. But the RSS Formula Hybrid, that's what this mod is. Uh, I don't like the engine sound it comes with. It kind of has too much of that styrofoam rubbing against other styrofoam kind of sound. <laughs> so I found, and I think a lot of people agree because there's a lot of different mods out there for it. Working and whatnot, yep. I guess that's why they call me the working man. Da, 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 da. All right, I stop. I stop now. Oh, oh, oh. Hamilton's oh, taking a peek. I'm good. I'm good, man. Doing some F1 this year. Doing some lots of stuff. I'm actually really excited to be doing. I mean, as much as it's kind of a chore. I am really excited for the amount of racing I have planned for myself this year. I mean, like it's it's going to be kind of epic. All right, we fended off Hamilton. We kind of just stayed stationed there. Yeah, content right. Honestly, it's not even, like I think I would have this crazy idea even if I wasn't a streamer. Just be like, hey, I'm getting good at this like race sim race car thing with the mods. Let's let's go let's go crazy. Yeah, I do the IndyCar thing, but what if I did the Formula One thing? What if I did the NASCAR thing? What if I did some other things? Well, we started IndyCar, we started... I'm sorry, IndyCar. You can't legally call it IndyCar. Freaking crap. But, uh... And then we started NASCAR, and now we started F1, and I've got another one up my sleeve coming later. Another series. Uh... You can, you can, I'll leave it to speculation what that series is going to be. But it would be the other, like, my, it would, it's probably my second favorite racing series behind the car. Super, well, okay, Hunter just spoiled it. <laughs> That's what I get for telling Hunter things. Terrible around Christmas, I bet. <laughs> I got the DRS because because that's how DRS works. <laughs> you guessed it, fair and square. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The V8 supercars from Australia. It's my second favorite racing series. I'd have to say it's always always a great time watching those cars race, and they have Bathurst, the Bathurst 1000, which is just. Just a highlight of the year for me.
So that's my plan with the four big series. Then Hunter and I started a uh, career mode on F-122. So I'll be throwing those up. Oh, okay. I I was just assuming I did because because you guessed it. But if you didn't, then you know what? Good on you. Maybe it's just the other big one that most people would do if you've already knocked out F1 NASCAR and IndyCar. I need to pay attention to what gear I'm in. I'm shifting up too much. Yeah, maybe I did. I don't... Group 3? What is Group 3? It's kind of like Australia's answer to NASCAR in the sense that it's a... You know, a... It's a touring car series, basically. It's uh, it's not ovals. I shouldn't say it's NASCAR at all. But it does kind of run itself like that, where it's a local... It stays in Australia. Yeah, more like GT. A lot like Trans Am, actually. But I'm always just enamored by the quality, and those cars are hard to drive. Like, they are so overpowered with no... very little aerodynamics, of course, and... I don't know, it's just a lot of fun watching those races. And they've got a stud down there in the name of Shane Van Gisberg, and who is kind of like the Max Verstappen of that series. Even drives the Red Bull car. Uh, he's got to be, he would be on my list of top five drivers in the world right now. It's just so good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously, the aggression in that series is so high and the competition level is so high it is just it's some catch catch some of the races you won't regret it they've also got a new um generation of car coming out this year which is kind of unfortunate because i'm gonna have to be driving the last gen until somebody makes a mod for it but, but that's okay the last gen was pretty darn entertaining too but from a viewership perspective, just the whole drama around the new the new generation of cars. Don't ask me for specs, I don't really know, but And they're trading blows up ahead of us. That's for Stappen. Gasly just got around him. Ah, I'm off the track. What the heck? So I think it's a Ferrari 1-2 right now. Oh. Don't, don't lag so much, computer, please. Thank you. The Astri is in first. Wow. Good call. Maybe. I mean, I can't argue with that. I don't know how I would... I don't know how you're tracking that. 360 degrees? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, whatever you see on the screen is, I'm pretty sure, what I'm doing in real life. I think it's... Yeah, it's mapped exactly the same, so I'm... Whatever that comes out to. Oops, wrong button. Oh, okay. Dang. Piastri could win on debut here. I need to get back around Hamilton. This lump of cars is just kind of incestuously passing each other like... I mean, I guess that's how DRS works, but you know, you get the slingshot, and next lap they get the slingshot. I guess that's just how it's supposed to work. Go zoom! Right, 
So you can take the inside into this hairpin, but see this dip right here? It is really, like, you can't get the power on. I do not have my horn mapped. It's a shame, really. I thought I was going to drift out into him. We're going to have the DRS. So to see. Oh, but ours, ours is better. Wow, we're going three wide. Still there. We're right. I'm, I'm too chicken shit for that right now. <laughs> F122 is fun. Uh, I'm bad at it. Which is fine, but I'm bad at it, and uh, it's a new experience. It's very ungrippy. Hunter had to uh, beat me into submission on using some of the driving aids. Well, just one, just the just the um, medium traction control. But yeah, our first race was a disaster. Haas is not off to a good start. <laughs> Close. Well, well, we'll set up for the inside again, but you really just can't make things work here. Oop. Wide, bad turn, bad turn. I like this track because there's a couple of turns on the back half, that one that we went wide on and then this one. I don't even know what line I'm supposed to take. I just kind of muddle through it, and I like that. It's pretty tough. Pretty tough to guess. Oh, Piastri's back to third now. It wasn't me, it was the DRS, but thanks, Jim. I made my teammate, we're driving for Audi, by the way. We're just pretending they came early. Um, I made my teammate Daniel Ricardo. I just figured that's a name that's been floating around and I could pretty easily cook up like a talent file for him. I know about where he would slot in. Are you asking me or Hunter? I've got a Thrustmaster T300. But I think you might be directing that at Hunter. Shoot, I forgot, I have the DRS right here. That makes that a lot easier. They're basically the same wheel, right? One's just compatible with the Xbox and one with the PlayStation. Leclerc, Verstappen, Piastri, that's your top three, and then it's us the fourth, and we're chasing down Piastri. If I remember correctly, the dial on one of them isn't colored, and on the other one it is, although I might be wrong. Yeah. 
<laughs> Profits, are you uh, primarily an F1 fan? Or I don't know if primarily is the right word, but like, do you follow F1? If so, I got a question. If not, I can still ask the question. It's just what Hunter and I were talking about earlier, which is that... Um, did I make a pass off the track there? I don't think so. I'll get it back. I don't think I can go across the line like that to make a pass. Uh, oh. What don't you like about F-122? For me, it was hard to drive. Like, I don't know if that's realistic or not. You only follow F1. Okay, so my question is, when I was setting up this grid for the for my 2023 season, I had a choice of using uh, the skins from last year. Like, Piastri is actually just in the car that was like painted delivery for uh, Ricardo, right? He's just swapped into the McLaren from last year. I could have done that, or I could have used some concept skins that, like, some fantasy ones that people have painted. What would what would a, a F1 fan rather see? Last year's more like consistency and clarity, or concept ones until the real ones come out. I chose last year's because I thought that would be like continuity, but that might be less fun. And I could switch it out for next race, too. Left side, clear to the left. Far west. Can we make the long way around work? Still there. No. Clear to the left. Now we're under attack from Norris as well. We don't have the DRS. Some of them were pretty similar, like how you would think they would look. Some of them were more con more conceptual, so that's fair. So we got we got suckered by the McLarens there. One side. Uh, if you're watching in the future on YouTube, what should if you do? Should he put the concepts in, or should he uh, stick with this? I think the, the answer is going to be concepts for next race. It just sounds more fun anyway. I just want to be all super serious, professional, nifty racer guy. <laughs> and we are, we are just asking for somebody to get hit here. That's a lot to read. Hang on. Ooh, come there. on, turn. Yeah, well, it switched companies, right? It wasn't EA. Two, what? If 21 wasn't EA, 22 was. Oh yeah. Oh man, we've got we've got a Mario Kart mushroom here with the push to pass. Or I'm sorry, not push to pass. That's the wrong series. The DRS. I mean, it is kind of like push to pass. We are on the podium. We are off the podium. <laughs> you stay over there. I don't think I'm clear left. Oh, I am clear left. You just kind of bailed out on the whole prospect of making a pass. Okay. Oh, blah, gross. Oh, 
Ooh, we got some distance now. Verstappen and Leclerc are pretty darn far away, though. Yeah, everything kind of goes downhill when EA gets their grubby little hands on it. Ow. They were like, I don't know, just like slipped off the paddle shifter. Like, I don't know, it was, it was weird. It just sprung back on me and hurt. <laughs> I think I just forgot how to hold a paddle shifter for a second. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Just, just get a Seto, man. It, it, this is great. I'm having a great time, and I'm racing at a track from F1's past, and I've got rain going. I could, I could make it snow. Yeah, I feel the same about the NHL series. EA has really killed the NHL games. I mean, EA knows that, for the most part, sports fans are going to buy up whatever they put out because they want to play their favorite sport. And because they know that, they have a captive audience that's going to it's going to buy it no matter what. They just, they have a free license to kind of just put out garbage. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, though. I actually had fun playing F-122. I, I just, uh, I know that that's their M.O. Oh, I don't like the ultimate team thing where you, it's, it feels like it's pay to win. Yeah, NHL has it too. NHL Hockey Ultimate Team, they call it HUD. Do they call it FOOT in, in FIFA? Football Ultimate Team? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Computer froze for a second there. I don't like that. No more of that, please. I'm always going to advocate for games you can mod because I could take this F1 car and go around Peach's Castle in Mario Kart, like on a Mario Kart circuit. It's crazy. Claire has fallen off of her sapping pretty hard. But I mean, like, is that what they call the ultimate team? Football ultimate team? Foot? Foot? <laughs> Hut at least kind of... I don't know, for some reason, Hut sounds better than Foot. But maybe that's just my ears. Dang. 
Thanks for stopping by, Hunter. Always a, always a pleasure when you're around. We'll do have a pretty good one right now. P3, we're on the podium. Aw, thanks, buddy. We're closing in on Leclerc. He's only four and a half down the road. As long as we don't make a mistake, I think we can reel in the player for sure. And it kind of depends how well Verstappen negotiates the lap of traffic up there. I honestly think the best racing physics, and I don't know, I mean, I haven't raced Indy cars or F1 cars, but I really do think Automobilista 1 has the best racing physics. And it's, it's insanely modded as well. The graphics, though, the graphics are not good. Like, for, uh, I mean, they're good for 10, 15 years ago, but they're not good for now. I mean, there's Leclerc right there. Get on the track, please. Thank you. I'd say we're going to get DRS at the end of next lap. Then we've got ourselves a race. It's pretty easy if you get content manager. And then and then the biggest hurdle is just there's mods that you need to pay for. But if you're willing to like kind of accept that, and to be fair, the payments required are not usually high. Like I paid one dollar for this mod that includes like crazy good weather. You know what I mean? Like well, I guess one dollar a month to say subscribe, but I could unsubscribe and keep the files. But if you have Content Manager, nine times out of ten, that can read the files and automatically install them for you. And if it doesn't, it's still pretty straightforward as far as, like, you know, if you have a car, it goes in the cars folder. If you have a track, it goes in the track folder, you know? Like, it's still pretty straightforward in that regard, too. If it comes with a readme, read the readme. All right. Clear right. It's interesting how Leclerc was just unstoppable early in this race, and now he's seeming pretty pedestrian. I mean, I said, of course, it does have some weaknesses. Like, for example, you can't go multiplayer with AI, because Hunter and I were going to do our F1 season on a set of Corsa. We were going to do me and him versus the AI, we we're going to, you know what I mean, but, um, it, uh, doesn't, doesn't work multiplayer. Dang it. Round one goes to Leclerc. Now, as far as actually building mods, I can't speak to that. I don't know. You know what I mean? I only know installing what other people have done. And then the other the other weak thing about a set of Forza, I would say, is the AI. Not that it's bad to race against, but you, you got to fine tune it. Which is why I do these races. If you follow on YouTube, um, 
after every race, I post up what my settings were and what I did to have the kind of race that I did with the AI. I'll post like, okay, so I changed, I installed this file for a better AI. I used these uh, talent files. I forced myself to use a harder compound tire to be more competitive with the AI, you know, things like that. I'm racing again, I think is the way to say it. How you doing? You been working? Lurking, working? Working, lurking? Yeah, Fixalis. I mean, if, I bet you can find it cheap. If not immediately, then I'm sure it goes on sale because it's a pretty old game, to be honest. Although, oldie but goodie here. As always, your mileage may vary on what you can do with the AI. I mean, I'm racing them at 98.5 out of 100 right now. I probably should have set them up to all the way to 100. Um, but, you know, you might come in here and be like, wow, it's so easy. <laughs> and you might have to do other things. But, like, and another thing is the AI can't take pit stops reliably, so that's another big problem. I mean, it's got, you know, I mean, there's things you have to work around, I guess is the best way to say it, but I'm having a really great time right now driving a Formula One car around a defunct Formula One circuit. So, still there. in the rain, Clear on the left. which is pretty new to me this year, rain, just because um, I'm, I'm, I'm so based in Automobilista and iRacing last year that... Um, Neither of those games have rain. I'm having a great time. I'm P2. DRS enabled in two laps? I was it disabled? On your left. Or is that something Clear about passing laps traffic that I don't know? It's a rules mod. I don't know what the rules are. I've got DRS right now, though. What? Clear left. No, what's the no hezzy mod? I don't even know what that means. No, Nico. Nico Hulkenberg just retired. I mean, I'm still pretty new to Assetto. Like, honestly, I hadn't tried this game for a long time, and I wish I had gotten into it earlier. But I hadn't heard of... Basically, I hadn't heard of Content Manager, and that just makes it so much easier. Quality of life with this game. It was a uh, lone Asian that pointed me in the direction of Content Manager. Thank you for that. Kind of a gaming life changing moment there. But yeah, what's the no Hezzy mod? It's getting real sunny right now. That's my teammate. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. That's second best, he's second worst. Oh no, he's third worst now. Where'd he go, guy? Getting around a car that retired. Car right. Third of the right.
excuse me, the track's kind of drying out right now. It's kind of turning into a nice day, actually. about what 21 laps left might be able to chase down Verstappen in that time as long as we don't screw anything up Track's really done a good job of drying out. And it's a it's a pretty nice looking day now actually. Just as I said that, it seems like the rain's coming back. a little bit of all the weather right now. Verstappen going into the uh, last turn. We saw him. We're seeing him. We might be able to hunt him down now.
about 12 to go. Doing the math right there? No. About 18 to go. Oh, it's trying to keep up with the weather. That's what the DRS is. But I think because I have the like actual weather physics off, like visually it's raining, but the track is it drives fine because the AI cannot race in the rain. Just a limitation of them. So, I think because I have those physics off, it's probably running some kind of script that just isn't working. Me too. raining again. about it, Prophets. You get yourself some rest if you need it. Always a, always a pleasure seeing you around. I'm going to be doing F1 every week for the next forever now, so <laughs> come back to watch more of this. Next week it's going to be, there's a track in Indonesia, uh, Mandalika. I think if I remember the way I did my schedule, then it's going to be the Mandalika circuit next week. Which is FIA Grade 1, or Grade A, I can't remember which one they use, but F1 theoretically could race there if they wanted, according to the FIA. Yeah, and also, beyond F1, I mean, we're doing... Oh, gosh. Okay, that's bad. Bad turn. Um, we're also doing IndyCar, doing NASCAR, we're going to be doing the supercars, and that's on top of my, uh, like, you know, Nintendo shenanigans and stuff, although I need to get back into that stuff, and, and focusing real hard, getting all these sim racing things started up that I haven't had time for much else. I've been playing some Rocket League lately. How did I come up with a list of tracks? Uh, I looked into F1's past. So, like, this was a track that was on the F1 calendar for, I don't know, probably about 15 years, and they haven't gone back in about 10, give or take. Um, 
And then I also looked at other calendars, who's racing what. I looked for what tracks are FIA grade one. Uh, and I tried to balance it so you wouldn't race in Canada in February, you know, it'd be too snowy, things like that. Um, and also, like, America doesn't need 17 Grand Prix, even though there's a lot of quality racetracks in America, for example, you know what I mean? Like, I tried to spread it out, and I'm also following the real F1 season, so if it's the week of a real F1 Grand Prix, I'll be racing that race, that, uh, that week. Same with IndyCar and NASCAR and Supercars as well. I'm kind of I'm following their schedules and I'm filling in the gaps. It's kind of what I'm doing. But I'm trying to fill it in with tracks that are either from F1's past or are F1 capable circuits around the world. And there's one exception, I added a fictional track from Finland in. Like it's fictional, but it's set in Finland. And that's only because there is a real life Finland track, but there is no mod for it. And I thought, you know, I want to go to Finland. So, just a lot of Wikipedia searching. Seeing what's out there, what's available, that kind of stuff. And what would be fun. Three seconds back from Verstappen, but the rain is coming back down. We've got 14 to go. Yep, Hockenheim's on the list, as is Nürburgring. Both of the top-tier German tracks are back my F1 season anyway. Hockenheim first, I think. German tracks, yay! I think it's kind of silly that uh, F1 isn't racing in Germany lately. Uh, the little ticker on the bottom, I mean, I know you have to kind of wait for it to scroll through, but it lists what week and, I mean, what, you know, week of, I'll be racing them and what the order is and all that. And then I break each, I break the schedule into three seasons. So there's one championship, there's three seasons. So we're in the spring season right now. And then at the end of the spring season, the point standings in the spring get added into a list as if it was an event. I did this for my IndyCar season last year as well. That just keeps it fresh so that there isn't like a runaway winner. Because when you get like 45 races in, that you get a runaway winner. Yeah, I know. That's that's what it is with a lot of the tracks, honestly. I mean, it's fictional in the sense that like right now they're not racing in Spang in real life, but... But it follows, if you see, it, it follows what I'm going to do, right? Like, to the, to the week, right? Like, so I have it set, the date it shows is the Sunday. So, like, I know it's February 9th right now, and it says February 6th, 10th. Whatever it says, it says the date of Sunday, even though it's Friday. It's really coming down again. Yeah, I don't want to talk about how long that ticker took to make, by the way. <laughs> Actually, I had a lot of fun because I've just been getting into the video editing side of things, and I was like, hey, let's put effects on this thing. Let's make it look cool. So it flashes, it spins, it twirls, it slices, it dices. It works with a smartphone. <laughs> Do 
you like the rain race? I mean, I'm just following the real life weather for this track on Sunday. So, because it says this race is supposed to happen on uh, the 12th, I looked at the weather forecast at, at this location on Earth in real life for the 12th, and it's supposed to be rainy and this temperature with the wind in this direction and all that. I tried to get it as like authentic as possible when I can. So uh, I guess if you're watching from Malaysia, you're going to have a rainy Sunday. Heads up for that. right behind Verstappen, but we're running into that thing where the rain is just making it hard to see where we're going. strategy or just in general I think rain is a great equalizer so a lot of times you see the best driver sometimes isn't in the best car and can't make his way through the field but in rain a lot of that advantage goes away maybe it's not so true in F1 but it's definitely true in any car That was close. Big battle fan, I guess. Ah. Well, that'll slow our roll. Okay, that hurt our that hurt our cause a bit. Ten to go. I think. It's coming down hard again. I set this up free race, but I don't really remember what cycles I had it doing. I kind of tried to just put it in real quick and not memorize it so that I would be kind of caught off guard by what it does. I mean, I know it's going to cycle back and forth a little bit, but I don't know what's coming up next in the cycle, you know? This far back, I don't know that that's that's right.
like he disappears, and then you hit the braking zone and he reappears. And he disappears again. You hit the braking zone and he reappears. Now you see him, now you don't. I suck at that inside move in the hairpin. Sorry, just kind of focusing, not really talking much. I'm as, I'm, 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 I'm as focused on trying to pass as I am just to not run into the back of it when I can't see. And to keep an eye on where I'm going. There we go, is that it? Will that work? Will that stick for a P1? I don't think it'll stick for P1, guys. We're gonna have to DRS and we're awfully close down the main straight, though. That might work. Oh, he's coming back. He's got the over-under on us. All right. Clear right. All right, all right. He got through that section bad, but there's kind of nowhere to go. We've tried a few times already today. That that section's real hard. There's almost not enough room to make a pass. And here you can get along inside, but then there's nowhere to go with it. Coming up on some lapsed traffic. I don't know who who that plays to. Probably me. The human is probably better at negotiating lapsed traffic than the bot. But ooh. he got to that section really bad, and I didn't see him.
Clear to the left. So Vettel retired. Who's your uh, Pixales if you're still hanging around? Who's your favorite driver? If you follow, I mean, you follow F1, right? But... Oh gosh, almost ran him over. He got slowed up by Albon. That's that's what happened there. Right side, clear right. What am I doing out here? Oh, my teammate Ricardo has retired. I panicked. I saw him come out of the haze. I saw him come out of the haze and just locked up. Now he got around to Albon. Albon or Albon? All right, we'll dispatch of the Williams with four laps left. We're in pursuit of Verstappen again. Looks like the sun's coming back out. I can see where I'm going. He's maybe in a bit of trouble. Pass for the lead. Down the back straight. He's got the inside line on us. And he's got the DRS right now. He hangs right with us, even without the DRS. He's got the straight line speed. Hulkenberg, is that? I mean, if 
we stuck with nationalities, I'd be rooting for Logan Sargent, which I don't know. I, I, I'm, I am an F1 free agent as a fan just because um, I feel like this year might be the first year I really follow it. Not a Verstappen fan? Seems like he's pretty polarizing. People either like him or don't like him. Dang, it's just every time we go for it there, it just gets us back. I need to try the inside line. Two to go. We've got Fernand Don Alonso. I need to fix that. That's quite a typo. We've got Alonso here making things interesting in the closing stages between the two of us. Alonso went for the apex. We couldn't, couldn't keep our foot in it. Get going again, get going again. I didn't mean to wreck you. Okay, I gotta go. Right side, you clear right. He got held up in traffic there. I did not want to hit him. Well, it's a fight for the best of the rest. We took out for seven. That's the stuff, but I'll tomorrow that. You think that's a penalty? I kind of think he got blocked by Alonso. I think he's going to DNF. What do you think, F1 fans? Would that have been a penalty on me? I think he got blocked off by Alonso. Like I, 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 at present, don't particularly feel bad about it. I waited for him to get back going, but he couldn't. Well, this is it, the last turn in Sepang. It's actually going to be Sergio Perez that comes away with the win. We'll have to kind of review review that incident, but I think he's slowed down.